friends, welcome to my channel, A Pig into the English Language. The Kalahari Desert is a semi-arid sandy savanna that undulates through many parts of Botswana, Namibia and South Africa. The word Kalahari originates from the word Gala, which can be denoted as great thirst in the Huana language. This huge expanse of land cannot be considered as a desert as it receives approximately 20 inches of annual rainfall in the wettest areas. Nonetheless, there is a lack of surface water as the rain water is absorbed by the sand almost immediately after a heavy downpour. Northern portion of the Kalahari Desert is known for its unique biodiversity of plants and animals. Here you can see black mane lions roaming the parched land and leopards dragging their prize kill into the foliages, foliages of acacia trees. It is also common to sight arid adapted games such as wildebeest, oryx, springbok and kudu against the barren landscape. This region is the natural habitat of a variety of birds of prey that range from martial eagles to goshawks. As the temperature of this desert soars drastically attributing to long Long dry spells, these birds are moving to cooler climes. The southern side of the Kalahari Desert is sparsely vegetated with tussock grasses, cacti, and drought tolerant shrubs. The Hudia cactus, a spiny succulent plant which is cited as a magical plant in local folklore is indigenous to these parts. For centuries it has served as a plant to quench the bushman's thirst on sweltering days when water was scarce. Another plant that can be found growing wild in the Kalahari Desert is the gems box cucumber that reminisces the sweet flavor of bananas blended with the bland taste of cucumbers. The sand people who inhabit this desert roast it for a few hours before consuming it as eating it raw may cause a burning sensation in one's throat and esophagus. The vast majority of the people in the Kalahari Desert have been forced by the government to abandon their primitive way of life and to move to resettlements established in the urban area. Some of them still live in the bushland, in huts made from wood, mud, grass and cow dung. They continue the nomadic lifestyle of their ancestors who gathered fruits and hunted wild animals to survive in the harsh condition of the desert.